Test. 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 Test.
Testing. Testing. Testing.
test. 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 Test two, test two. Test three, test three. Test four, test four. Test five.
fest. All right, everyone, we are getting ready to get teams on the field for the first round for SS Stallions Meet 3. We are getting our teams on the field, and over for the Red Alliance is... One, two, one, one, five, Fiend X. And their alliance partner, one, three, eight, nine, six, Team Battle Stallions. Over on the blue alliance is two, one, three, five, two, Team Firebots. And their alliance partner, five, two, four, three, Team Griffin. The dice rolled a two, so the zone is in the center. We begin our first autonomous round for the day. Team Phoenix has pushed their cone up. And looks like they caught, caught on the... Oh, wait, no, look, they are getting their lifter up. Will they put it down? And it was just sure. Team Griffin has moved up. And Phoenix. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And now we begin. Deli off. Phoenix is trying to go for that stack over at the scorekeeper side, and they're going for the first tall junction. They made it. The blue lines are both trying to get those cones, and they're putting it into the play. Phoenix goes for another cone on another tall junction. They're going for a third one. We'll see if they'll 
get it on. The junction is moving back and forth, but Phoenix was able to get that cone on. Are they going for a second one? No, they are going for the fourth tall junction. The blue lines, they have put a cone on the ground junction. Phoenix was... They almost tipped over, but fortunately they did not and was able to put that cone on the tall junction. The blue lines are still trying to go for those cones and put them on the ground junctions. Team Battle Stallions, their robot is flipped over and not moving this way. Fortunately, looks like Phoenix is really putting in that work. We'll see if the blue alliance will be able to catch up. They still have a cone in the station area. Phoenix just short of getting that medium junction. They already have two and all four of the tall junctions. It looks like Team Firebots is going for a park. So is their alliance partner, Team Griffin. We'll see if Phoenix will get into a parking. And that is the end of the match. And our scores for round one, Red Alliance wins with a score of 131 to Blue Alliance's 9.
And now we are getting our teams on the field for round two. Over on the red lines is 5189 Team Wolves. And their alliance 5188 Team Phoenix. Over on the blue alliance is 10632 Jekka Robo Raptors. And their partner 13895 Team Livewire. The dice roll to one, the zone is on the left. We begin autonomous for round two. All four robots have made some action. Check the Robo Raptors tried to go for that tall junction. They were just a little bit off. Do you have the robots are stopped? Check the Robo Raptors. It's trying a little bit more right before Autonomous ends. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And we begin Teleop. All four robots are. All four robots are in play, and we'll see what their strategy is for the round. The blue lines, they have one cone sideways on a junction. We'll see if they'll be able to get that upright. Over on the red lines, they already have a first cone on the ground junction. And the blue lines is trying to get that one cone. Team Livewire is trying to go for that cone. It just got out of their control. Checker Robo Raptors is going for that next cone and they put it in the terminal. The red lines over there has two cones currently on the ground junctions. Oh, it looks like the strategy for the blue lines is to get as many of those cones over to the terminal as they can. Team Phoenixes having that cone, and it looks like they're deciding where exactly they want to place it. Same for their uh, Team Wolves. They're both going with those cones. We'll see where they put them. The blue lines, it looks like they have six cones. Make that seven cones in their terminal. Team Livewire has went in for a park. And it looks like Team Phoenix has went for a cone on the tall junction. And we have one second left on the clock, and that's the end of the match.
And our scores for round two, the Red Alliance has a score of 25 to Blue Alliance's 10. All right. Now we have our teams on the field for round three. And our teams on the Red Alliance is 17329, Team Stingray Dynamics. We also have their alliance partner, 17121, Ronald Reagan Robotics. Over on the Blue Alliance is 3033, Techno Riders. And their alliance partner, 13893, Team Best. And the dice rolls at three, and the zone is on the right. <laughs> now we begin round three. Ronald Reagan Robotics goes immediately over to their right and goes into Blue Alliance's terminal. Techno Riders goes over to the right side of the second column. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now we begin the teleop portion. The blue lines puts in a cone into play. Techno Riders puts a cone on the medium junction, and they're going back over to the loading area to get another cone. We'll see where they're putting this one. The Red Alliance looks like they're having a bit of trouble. Hopefully, they'll be able to get the robots back into action. Ronald Reagan Robotics is trying to get a hold of that cone. It looks like trying to navigate over to a ground junction. 
Techno Riders places another cone on a medium junction. Now they have three cones on the yellow junctions, and they also have quite a few on the ground. They have one, two, and three on the ground. Now they put another cone on the third medium junction. Looks like both of the red alliance robots are back in action. And Team Stingray Dynamics puts a cone on that round junction. Techno Riders places another cone onto that low junction. Oh, it looks like they lost a piece of their wire holder. And now one of their wires is free holding. It does not look like one of their motors. So we'll see what their strategy is. They're going for a cap cone. Team Stingray Dynamics is trying to go for a park. So it's Ronald Reagan Robotics and Techno Riders. Our scores for round three. The blue lines wins with a score of 84. The red lines is 10. Our teams, our teams for round four on the red alliance is 21879, checkmate. With their alliance partner, 13895, team Livewire. Over on the blue alliance is 5188, team Phoenix. With their alliance, 12115, Phoenix.
The dice lines are five, and the zone is in the middle. We will begin with Autonomous. All four robots have an Autonomous, and we'll see what their strategies are. Checkmate goes and pushes. Both of the rail lines have pushed their cones, and Phoenix has gone a cone on the tall junction in Autonomous period, and going back to the center tile. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Well, now we begin the teleop portion. Checkmate places a first cone for the rail lines on the medium junction. The blue lines by Phoenix has gone a now two cones in teleop and another in autonomous. Two on the tall junction, one on the medium. Speaker of the medium junction, Team Livewire is trying to go for... Wait, sorry, Checkmate is going for the second medium junction. Now they're trying to go for a low junction, and they got it. Team Livewire is trying to get that cone to try to get a grip on their robot, and it looks like they got it. Team Phoenix has placed another cone on the tall junction. They're trying to go for all four tall junctions. Will they get on? Yes, they do. They also have to navigate around that ground junction cone that the rail lines has put. Team Phoenix is going for a third cone on the tall junction, and they're successful. The rail lines, meanwhile, put another cone on the short junction. They have gone for quite a few of those as of right now, they have one, two, three, four, five on the small. And the blue line stayed the side. They did not want red to have that medium junction, so they took it for themselves. <laughs> Team Phoenix is going for another cone. Now the red lines has claimed two of the junctions that blue lines has gone before, and the blue lines has gone one. Make that. They wanted to go for a two, but they were just off. They tried to go for a claiming another junction. The rail lines, they capped one of the ground junctions, and they're both trying to go in that terminal. Team Phoenix has went to the field, and Phoenix. Definitely excited to see how this round turns out. This is coming out to be quite a close match. The scores might have become frozen right now, so we'll just have to wait for the score announcement to see who wins this round. And let's see who wins the round. It is the Red Alliance. 
with a score of 103 to Blue Alliance's 84. All right, everyone, we're getting our teams on the field for round five. Starting off over in the rail lines is team 17329, Team Stingray Dynamics. We also have their alliance partner 5189, Team Wolves. Above them on the blue alliance is 17121, Ronald Reagan Robotics. With their alliance partner, 21352, Team Firebots. Ice World's a four, and the zone is in the left. Go. 
Now we begin round five. Immediately, Team Wolves zooms ahead and gets up. Two of the cones knocked over. One of the regular box goes over to the right, and they are currently in the terminal. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now we begin teleop. Both of the blue and red alliances are placing those cones into the loading area. Team Firebots immediately tried to go for that ground junction directly in the middle. They were just a little bit off and knocked it over. We'll see. Team Wolves has put that cone successfully on the ground junction. Both the Blue Alliance robots are... They're trying to go for that cone currently in the loading area. Team Wolves is going for another cone in the ground junction and they got it. The Blue Alliance, they have successfully got a cone in, the, in one of their areas. Ground junctions. We'll see. Are they trying to go for another one? It looks like it. We'll see who will get the middle ground junction first. And the red lines goes for and it takes it for themselves. Over on the red lines, they currently have three cones on. All ground junctions, the blue lines, they have one. We'll see, will they be able to get any more ground junctions? And it looks like... Ronald Reagan Robox has decided to go for a park. Team Firebotson has ran into that tall junction and it swung back and forth. They ran into it making their way over to the other Blue Alliance terminal. We'll see, it's a red line strategy to park. Looks like they're currently trying to get those cones in the terminal. And Team Wolves has went in for a park. And our score is the Red Alliance wins with a score of 23 to Blue Alliance's 11. All right, everyone, we're getting our teams on the field for round six. Over on the red lines is 10632 Jekka Robo Raptors. With their alliance, 21879 Checkmate. 
Over on the blue lines is 3033 Techno Riders. With 5243 Team Griffin. All right, so the dice for the five. Two, one, go. Round six has begun. We have three robots moving it. Autonomous. Techno Riders has put one of the cones in the terminals. The other two robots, specifically uh, Checkmate and Team Griffin, has moved forward. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now we begin Teleop. Checkmate has gone. Checkmate and Techno Riders have gone cones and they're both going for medium junctions. The Rail Lines places theirs down first, followed by Techno Riders. Decker Robo Raptors is trying to go for the low junction over on the blue side, but a blue cone is currently blocking their. Way is on the ground terminal, so they push it away. And they also decide to place their cone in the terminal. The Blue Alliance currently has two cones in their terminal. Checkmate places another cone, so they have two cones on the ground, or two cones on the low junction. And Jekka Rubber Raptors makes that three low. Techno Riders does not like that. They want to claim that for their own. So they place one of their cones on the red lines. The red lines. Jekka Rubber Raptors has placed the first cone on a tall junction as endgame begins. Checkmate does not like that the blue lines took over that low junction, so they decide to take it back. Now they have a line, they have a circuit. It looks like students are trying to go for a park. Checkmate was just a little bit off. Let's see, they put the cone back. Will they get that cone back on the small junction? That's the end of the match.
the results for this round. Red Alliance wins with a score of 115 to Blue Alliance's 60. All right, everyone, we're going our teams on the field for round seven. Over on the red lines is two, one, three, five, two, Team Firebox. With their alliance partner, one, three, eight, nine, three, Team Best. Over on the blue alliance is one, three, eight, nine, six, Team Battle Stallions. With their partner, 13895, Team Livewire. Dice World of Five and goes in the center. We begin it. Autonomous Puffle Blue Alliance goes. Team Battle Stallions has moved forward onto that low junction. Team Livewire goes straight and gets a hold of that signal cone. Drivers. Pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And now we begin teleop. Team Best has gone their first cone on the low junction. They're putting another cone into play. And the Blue Alliance also plays another cone into play, and now they have two over in the terminal. Looks like they're trying to navigate over a three by Team Battle Station. Team Battle Stallions. Team Livewire is trying to get a hold of, of that cone. We'll see if they'll pick it up. And they're going for a tall junction. Will they get it on? They did! The Blue Alliance places the first cone on the Tall Junction. Over on the Red Alliance, they currently have two 
cones over in these low junctions. The rail lines are trying to put a cone on the ground junction, which they have. Everyone's knocking over that. Short junction cone. They're trying to roll over. Team Bess is trying to roll that cone over into the terminal. They lost control of it and they moved out of the terminal. And then the game begins. Team Livewire is trying to get a second cone onto the tall junction. It's swaying back and Fourth, we'll see if they'll get it aligned. And they did. The Red Lions, they have a pile of cones over by their loading area. The team Bess has went in for a park. So has Team Livewire and Team Bell's Dalians. Score is the Blue Lions wins with a score of 29 to Red Lions is 16.
All right, everyone, we're getting teams on the field for round eight. Over on the Red Alliance is Team 5243, Team Griffin. With their partner, 17121, Ronald Reagan Robotics. Over on the Blue Alliance is 10632, Jekka Robo Raptors. With their partner, 3033, Techno Riders. Uh, Swirls of five and the zone is in the center. Now we begin autonomous. Team Griffin moves forward and Jekka Robo Raptors has gone a cone on a tall junction. Techno Riders goes for the center. Jekka Robo Raptors, they have the automation for getting another cone. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now we're beginning tally off. The blue lines immediately goes over. And Techno Rice tried to get that cone, but it tipped over. They decide to go for another cone. Over on the rail lines, that cone they have in possession by. Run away again, Robox also tipped over. Looks like this is trying to also go for a new cone. Team Griffin and Jekka Robo Raptors were almost face to face with each other, but they went separate routes, and Jekka Robo Raptors gets a cone on the tall junction. They're also going for that cone stack, and they got a cone straight out of it. Techno Riders places is trying to place a cone over on the ground junction. They were just a little bit over, but they got their cone and are trying again. The partner, Jekka Robo Raptors, places another cone on the medium junction. Meanwhile, the Red Lines, they currently have one cone in that terminal area. 
Team Griffin is deciding what they want to do. And they have a cone that they're trying to, it looks like, put onto the ground junction. No, they're trying to put it in the terminal over here. The partner. Wrong with Reagan Robox. Looks like they're also going in the terminal over there with a few cones in there as well. But for the blue lines, they're trying to go for those cones. They have quite a few on all of the terminals, and that's the end of the match. Blue Alliance wins us with a score of 83 to Red Alliance is 19. Now our teams are coming on the field for round nine. Over on the red lines is one three eight nine six Team Battle Stallions with their partner one seven three two nine Team Stingray Dynamics. Over on the blue lines is five one eight nine Team Wolves with their partner two one eight seven nine Checkmate. The dice rolls a one, and the zone is on the left. <laughs> Autonomous mode for round nine has begun. Checkmate goes into the 
Red Alliance terminal. Looks like they're having a little bit of trouble right now. Hopefully they'll be able to get the robot back up in action. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now we begin, tell y'all. Checkmate has got the robot back up in action. And speaking of them, they put their first cone on the medium junction. The Red Alliance are trying to get those cones. Team Stingray Dynamics is also having a bit of trouble. Hopefully they'll be able to get their robots up back in action as well. That blue cone on that medium junction was hanging just on the top of the junction for a little bit. And then it decided to fall off. Check me as I decided to try again and go for another cone on the junction. This time the cone went straight on. Looks like both of the Red Alliance robots are back up in action. We'll see what the main strategy is for this round. The Red Alliance already has a cone in their terminal. Team Wolves was trying to go for a tall junction. Their robot was just a little bit off. Over in Checkmate, they're trying to go for some more cones. This time going for a short junction. Checkmate has placed a cone in the Blue Alliance terminal. And the Blue Alliance has one cone in both the near and far terminals. So far, there are three cones on the medium junctions. Check me. Wants to make that a capped cone on a short junction. Team Battle Stallions. Check me. That's aside the park. We'll see. Score for round nine, the Red Alliance wins with a score of 93 to Blue Alliance's 42.
And this round, All right, everyone, round, round 10 teams are coming on the field. On the red lines is one, two, one, one, five, Phoenix. And also their lines by their one, three, eight, nine, three, team best. Above them on the blue alliance is one zero six three two Jekko Robo Raptors. And currently we need team five one eight eight Team Phoenix. The dice roll to one, and the zone is on the left. Round 10 has begun. Both of the Blue Alliance robots have gone straight ahead, followed by Phoenix. Chicken Robo Raptors was just a little bit too short to get that cone on. Looks like Phoenix, will their cone go in? No! Just a little bit off. That's okay, though. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now we begin. Teleop Phoenix is trying to get that cone. They got a hold of the cone. We'll see where they decide to put it. Looks like on the tall junction. Phoenix got the first tall junction, followed by Team Best. 
Phoenix is trying to go for it. A second junction, or a third junction, for the red team, which is on the medium junction. Team Best is also going for a medium. The red team is really going for those junctions. They're really determined to get as many as they can on. They put a second cone on the tall junction. We'll see. Will they be able to make a circuit? The blue lines. They're... Oh, Phoenix was just that close to tipping over, but they decided not today. We're going to put that cone on the tall junction. Check the Robo Raptor seems to be having a bit of trouble over there. Oh no, they decide to zoom right ahead and place a cone in the terminal. The rail lines, their cone has went on the junction and that cone spun and spun and spun. Like a basketball going on the rim. The red team has also put three cones on one tall junction. They also put two cones on another tall junction. The Barner team best has decided to go in for a park. Chicka Robo Raptors has gotten a cone from the tower, while Phoenix has capped one of these small junctions. Oops. And that is the end of the match. Scores are in. The Red Alliance wins with a score of 106. The Blue Alliance is 4. All right, everyone, we are breaking for lunch and we'll return at 1245. Please be back on the field by 1245. Thank you.
All right, everyone, we're getting our teams on the field for round 11. For round 11, our teams on the rail lines is 13895 Team Livewire. We also have their partner, 21352 Team Firebots. Over on the blue lines is 21879 Checkmate. With their partner, 17121 Ronald Reagan Robotics.
And the dice roll to five. The zone is in the center. First autonomous after lunch. Well, no dragon Robox goes straight left with that cone into the terminal area. Both checkmate and team livewire move forward. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And now we begin teleomp. Checkmate puts the first cone on the medium junction, followed by Team Ronald Reagan Robotics. They both put cones on those yellow junctions. Checkmate puts another cone on another medium junction both of the rail lines they're trying to go for the uh, loading area team livewire is trying to get a hold of that cone and they are lifting that cone up and so is ronald reagan robox who was the first to put that cone on the tall junction will team livewire put no, it was so close, and it looks like they knocked over that center cone. Hopefully, they'll be able to make up their co points back from there. The Blue Alliance is really going. They already have made it like a C over there, and they also put another cone. They put the cone back in the center, but instead of red, now it is blue. Team Livewire is trying again for another cone. Will they get it on? So close! But it's getting closer and closer. Hopefully this next time, if they decide to go for the tall junction again, they'll be able to get it. Over on the blue line, so they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cones currently on junctions. And I believe... Six. Oh, they put a cap over on the red side, so the red alliance cannot put a cone over on that short junction over there. The blue alliance, they put two cones on that ground junction, and time is up. Three or four robots look like they went in for a park. Now the score has been released, the Blue Alliance wins with... The Blue 
Blue Lines wins with a score of 118 to Red Alliance's 24. And just a quick announcement, if you notice the sign over at the entrance to the field, you'll see there's a live stream that's actually happening for this field. If you go over to SST Main on Facebook, SST Space Main on Facebook, they're currently hosting a live stream of this match right now. So if you want to check it out, head over to SST Space Main on Facebook. All right, all right, everyone, for, we're getting our teams for round 12. On the rail lines, it's 5 2 4 3, Team Griffin. With their partners, 1 2 1 1 5, V next. Opposing them on the blue lines, it's 1 3 8 9 3, Team Best. With their partner, 5 2 8 9, Team Wolves. The Dyson rolls a five and the zone is in the middle. And the tournament for round 12 has begun. All four teams. Have some action. Team Best really tried for that medium junction. Phoenix is right above that tall junction and they got it. And they move back over. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three. Two, one. Begin tell the up for the round. All four teams immediately go for separate cones. Phoenix 
and try to put a cone on the junction, and they were successful. As always, the robot. Wait, he's almost tipping over. They tried to go for that cone stack, but they dismantled it. Over on the blue line, they already put two cones on those junctions. One medium and one tall. Phoenix has went for another cone. Now the red line has three red cones. Team Best gets the second tall junction for the blue lines. Now all of the tall junctions are claimed. Both alliances have claimed two. And Team Best really tried to get that tall junction away from the red lines. They were just short. Team Phoenix did not like what Team Best did, and they decided to take over that tall junction. Looks, and they're getting in position to take over the medium junction. The red lines is not kidding around. They do not like how the blue lines took it over. And now Team Best decide we are not going to take it. We're going to take that tall junction back, and they took back. Now they took back two of the. Tall Junctions, Phoenix and Team Bess are in a battle to see who can get those Tall Junctions. And that's the end of the Phoenix tried to cap, but they were just a little bit off. This was an exciting match. I'm excited to see. Who will win? The results are in. The Red Alliance wins with a score of 78. The Blue Alliance is 49. Getting our teams on the field for round 13. Over on the red alliance is 3033 Techno Riders. With their alliance partner, 13896 Team Battle Stallions. Over on the blue alliance is 5188 Team Phoenix. And their alliance partner, 17329 Team Stingray Dynamics.
And the dice rolls a six. The zone is in the right. <laughs> now we begin autonomous. Techno riders. Has moved right and forward. And over on the scoreboard, looks like they have the parking points. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now we begin tele up. Techno Riders is trying to go for that low junction, and they got a cone on it. Team Battle Stallions has pushed their first cone into the terminal. Techno Riders puts a second cone, and this time on a medium junction. Team Stingray Dynamics has already pushed one of their cones over into the terminal area. It looks like they're trying to get aligned and push another one into the terminal. So far, the Rail Lines, they have a cone. Straight in the center ground junction, and they have one in the low and medium as well. Techno Rise is going for another me medium junction, and they place one down. Meanwhile, Team Battle Stallions places a second cone into the terminal. <laughs> And game begins. Team Stingray Dynamics is struggling a bit with pushing that cone into the terminal. We'll see if they'll be able to make that cone. Signal Riders goes for another cone in the other terminal. Signal Riders gets a cap cone on the Low junction, and that is the end of the match. They have also made a circuit. Red Alliance wins this round with a score of 87 to Blue Lines is 3. And also, yes, if you notice, if you are unable to get your robot on the field, whether it be maintenance or something else that came up, you can send one representative to come down on the field so you can at least get the points for the round. Otherwise, you will get no points, so... It's definitely better to send one person down on the field. Then be a no-show. And now, round 14 is coming on the field. Over our round lines is 21879 Checkmate with 
two, one, three, five, two. Team Firebots. Up on the on the blue lines is one, three, eight, nine, three. Team Best. With one, zero, six, three, two. Jekka Robo Raptors. The dice rolls a two and the zone is in the middle. We begin autonomous. Team Best was so close. So was Chuck and Robo Raptors. So we were so close to getting those cones on the junctions. Their arm was a, just a little bit too high up. So far, the Rail Lines has a park. We'll see. Will that count? Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Looks like it is a park. Now we begin tally off. The best tried to go for a cone on. Looks like the tall junction just a little bit off. Checkmate is going for a low junction over there and they place their first cone there. Checko Robo Raptors goes for a cone on the tall junction and they successfully place one down on there. Checkmate is having a few difficulties over there. Hopefully they'll be able to get the robot back up in action. Checko Robo Raptors is trying to get in line for a second cone and they have. They place it right on top of their previous cone. Team Best was trying to go for a cone on the tall junction over there, but the cone just got their grasp, and they're trying it again. The cone just fell out again, so they're deciding to go somewhere else. Chicken Robo Raptors just a little bit off, but they were planning on getting another cone directly on top of the first two. The rail lines, though, is slowly but surely making those cones onto all of the different junctions. And game begins. Team Firebots is trying to get that cone onto the ground junction. And they popped it right off. Let's see how the Lions team strategies 
are going check a rubber after it goes in for a park. Looks like their partner team Beth is as well. That's the end of the match. And just again, after the end of a match, this scoreboard can freeze. So these may not be the final scores. Scores are in. Red Alliance wins with a score of 51 to Blue Alliance is 39. All right, teams for round 15 are on the field. The Red Alliance consists of team 17121, Ronald Reagan Robotics. With their partner, 5188, Team Phoenix. Over on the Blue Alliance is 13896, Team Battle Stallions. With their partner, 5243, Team Griffin.
Dice roll the five, and the zone that's in the center. Here we go with Autonomous! Team Phoenix goes straight. Ronald Reagan Robox goes to their left. Team Griffin also goes straight. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. It looks like Ronald Reagan Robotics went in the substation. The Blue Alliance by Team Battle Stallions immediately went for that cone and placed it in the terminal. Both of the Blue Alliance robots are some... over there. The Red Alliance, they have quite a few cones over in play over there. They have five cones all knocked over. We'll see what their strategy is for those. The Blue Alliance, they have five. And they want to make that six cones in their terminal. Looks like this match is a match of terminal. Who can get the higher number of cones? The Red Lion still has one cone in their terminal. We'll see if they'll get more or if they'll go for other junctions. <laughs> And game begins. Ronald Reagan Robotics is trying to get lined up for a cone, and they put in a cap to go with it. They're taking the cap over. We'll see which junction they plan on capping. The Red Lions, they went over and tried to put a cone in. Ronald Reagan Robotics successfully places a cap on the tall junction over there. That's the end of the match. Scores are in, well, let's see. The Red Alliance wins with a score of 43 to Blue Alliance is 7. All right, round 16. Over on the Red Alliance is 17329 Team Stingray Dynamics. Along with 3033 Techno Riders. 
And over on the Blue Alliance is 13895 Team Livewire. With 12115 Phoenix. And the dice rolls a five. The zone is in the center. We begin round 16. Team Livar goes straight. Phoenix, they drop the cone successfully on the tall junction. Techno Ryers goes straight. Phoenix has also went back. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now we begin teleop. Phoenix is going for the cone tower over by the audience side of the field. Techno Riders has gone the first junction. They have gotten for that medium junction. They were followed by Phoenix who got the tall junction. Team Livewire uh, tried to go for that medium junction, but the cone went out. Signal Riders took advantage of this and got that medium junction. The Blue Alliance now has all four of the tall junctions as of right now. Will the Red Alliance take over some of them or do they have another strategy in play? Signal Riders is going for that center junction. The Blue Alliance, they currently have a stash of three cones over here and they decide to put... Ooh, it looks like Phoenix, their cone grabber has fallen off of their robot. We'll see what their strategy is to do. We'll see what their strategy is for the rest of the match. Signal Riders has placed a cone in the red terminal, which the Blue Lines decided to also put a cone in there. The Rail Alliance has placed a cap into play. We'll see which one they decide to try to cap. They went for a medium junction. And they have made a circuit. Team Livewire goes in for a part. So does Team Stingray Dynamics. That's the end of the match.
This is going to be a close match. We'll see who comes out victorious. And here is the scores. The Red Alliance wins. New high score for the day. 136. The Blue Alliance is 83. Part of that score is the 50 points for blue. Blue penalties. Round 17 on the field. Over on the Red Alliance is 5189 Team Wolves with 172 17121 Ronald Reagan Robotics. Over on the Blue Alliance is 13893 Team Best with 21879 Checkmate. The dice rolls a four, and the zone is on the left. Here we go with Autonomous, all four robots. Check me, go to the left. Team Best, go straight. Both of the Red Alliance robots move to their left. From the scoreboard, both of the Red Alliance robots went into their... Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, Three. two, one. And now we begin teleop. Both of the red lines puts cones into play, while the blue lines stay up. Both already have cones and have both gotten those terminals. The blue lines has put one on the tall and one on the medium.
the Red Alliance has already put their first has already put their first cone on a tall junction. Team Best is going for the Blue Alliance's second on the tall junction, fourth on a yellow junction. Checkmate makes that the Blue Alliance's fifth. There was Team Best was so close to getting Red Alliance's tall junction. Red Alliance is focused on getting that short junction over there and trying to get a hold of one of the red cones. Well, the Reagan Robux decides they do not like that blue has that medium junction, they are going to take it over. Chuckme places a cone on the short junction. The Red Alliance has two of the ground junctions in play. <laughs> and game begins. We'll see how, if we'll get any circuits this round. Team Bess places a cone on the Red Alliance's tall junction. There are two junctions where the colors are swapped. And Checkmate wants to make sure that both of them swap over to blue. The Red Alliance are both trying to get cones. It looks like one of the Wigan Robots is trying to go for a cap. And it just got the cap. And that is the end of the match with blue putting on a cap. Or are in the Blue Alliance win with a score of 106. The Blue Alliance is 40. Now preparing for round 18. All right, we are getting our teams ready for round 18. Over on the rail lines is team 5243, Team Griffin. With their partner, 10632, Jekka Robo Raptors. Over on the blue lines is 13895, Team Livewire. With 17329, Team Stingray Dynamics.
Ice rolls a six. D zone is on the right. There we go, autonomous. Team Griffin moves forward. Chicka Roboraptors places a cone on the tall junction. And they have another cone, we'll see. Are they going to get on? A little short, just a little bit to your left. That was okay, they got a cone in autonomous and they move. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Team Wi-Fi has also moved forward. Jekka Robo Raptors is trying to go for that cone they dropped the first time. And they want to get that cone on the second time, and they are successful. Now the Red Alliance has two cones on the tall junction so far. Team Livewire has gone a cone and they dropped it onto a medium junction. That's the first junction for the blue lines. Meanwhile, Checker Robo Raptors places the third cone onto the tall junction. They're trying for another junction now. This time is a medium junction. And they got it. Over on the red lines, Team Griffin is doing all the... We're doing everything they can to get as many of those cones over into the... Terminal... Into the terminal as they can. They have three, now that make it four. That's also the same strategy that Team Stingray Dynamics is going for. Trying to get as many cones as it can into the Blue Alliance Terminal as well. <coughs> and game begins. Team Livewire goes for a tall junction and successfully places a cone on it. Team Griffin is, looks like going for a park with all of the cones that they have. Checker Roboraptors is trying to get one last cone on the field. They tried to get that cone on the tall junction. Team Stingray Dynamics goes in for a park and that is the end of the match. Results are in the Red Alliance wins with a score of 46. The Blue Alliance is 18. Our second to last match, match 19. Our teams for round 19. Our on the red alliance, team 5188, team Phoenix. With their partner, 
3033 three, Techno Riders. Currently needed on the blue lines is 21352 Team Firebots with their partner 5189 Team Wolves. The dice rolls a five and the zone is in the center. <laughs> Second to last, last match has begun. Team Wolves moves to right into the terminal. Techno Riders moves into center. So does Team Phoenix. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now Tally Up has begun. Techno Rice is going for that first medium junction and they put it on. The, they put the cone on the medium junction. 5188 is having a bit of trouble. Hopefully they'll be able to get the robot back up in action. Over on the blue lines, Team Wolves is trying to go and put that cone on the ground junction and they are successful that is currently blue alliances second make that third ground junction meanwhile techno riders puts a second cone on a medium junction making that third including the ground junction in the center techno riders is trying to go for another low junction and they have put another cone on Techno Riots is trying to. They put a cone in the terminal. The partner, Team Phoenix, is trying to get a cone onto the ground junction over by the audience. Techno Riders is placing a cone on the low junction over on the red line side. Both the blue lines are trying to get that cone. One of the cones in play is a cap cone. We'll see where they decide to put that. They... Techno Riders is also playing, having in play a cap cone and a capped one of the medium junctions. And all four robots have tried to go in 
to the parking area. The score is out, and it's a Red Alliance with a score of 94 to Blue Alliance's 25. All right, everyone, this is it. The last match of the day. Round 20. Coming onto a field for the Red Alliance team. 1, 2, 1, 1, 5. Phoenix. And their alliance partner, 1, 0, 6, 3, 2. Jekko Robo Raptors. And over on the blue alliance is 17121 Ronald Reagan Robotics with 13896 Team Battle Stallions. The dice rolls are five, and the zone is in the center. Here we go. Well, the Reagan Robotics moves over to the right and goes into the terminal. Check out Roboraptors. You in autonomous mode. Successfully places that first 
cone on the tall junction. Are they going to play a second cone on? It's a little bit too left, but they got it. Two red cones on the tall junction in autonomous and back. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. We're already up 50 points on the rail lines. Lou will have some serious catching up to do. One of Reagan Robox places a junction over on the blue lines. Phoenix is trying to get the red lines third tall junction. And they have put one. That's the fourth junction for the red lines. Phoenix wants to make that fifth. And they have gone all four of the tall junctions. Well, the Reagan Robux is having a bit of trouble with that. They're a bit unbalanced right now. We'll see. Will they be able to get back up on their feet? They did. And they have put a cone over on the tall junction that Red Lines has gone. The Red Lines, they are just... Pushing on through, though. They have quite a few, and they already have a circuit. Will Blue break their circuit? We'll have to wait and see. But Phoenix has put a second cone on top of an existing red cone. Phoenix does not like that Blue took over there. Tall Junction, so they took it back. The Blue ones, meanwhile, is putting as many, as many cones as they can into their terminal. One of the game box places a cap into play. We'll see if they will cap one. The Red Lines has already placed a cap on a small junction. Well, Reagan Robotics just lost control of third. And the Red Lines goes both for a park, and that's the end of the match. It is a whoa! It is a false fire alarm, guys. You don't. You you you're fine. And the results for this round: the Red Alliance wins with a score of 151. Today's high score. Blue Lights is 30.